uh, hello all welcome to this session see this is one of the short video and uh, clear video to understand what is hub and spoke you just imagine what is hub and spoke hub and spoke do you did you heard about this before hub and spoke if yes imagine what is it you may heard about in networking you may heard about in any server environment but uh, i heard about this hub and spoke is a cycle this is a rim this is a hub the rim is connected to a hub right that's how the all these what spokes hub and spoke this is a hub and spoke architecture that's how cycle rim cycle wheel has made hub where all spokes connected to the rim that's how the rim got grip to rotate whatever similarly we have a hub and spoke architecture in azure so i'm not going to show any demo i'm just going to give you a clear idea what is the use of hub and spoke and uh, how hub and spoke is a best uh, to implement for any network uh, architecture or especially in azure so what i have to do is let me divide uh, this uh, architecture into many parts this is part number 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 and there is a part 5 if you look at the part 1 the part 1 indicating that is on prem network what is on prem that is a company building network where you have your data center this is a company network okay that's a part 1 and the most of the time companies will be having data center in the company building that is on premises they will be having lot of servers in that and they used to connect internet company got connected to internet from company from internet so many activities will happen that is one this is part one but in this architecture what is our aim is our aim is to have a connectivity between azure vnet and on prem building on prem network hmm? azure vnet if you have heard about this azure vnet that's okay if you don't know ab about azure vnet then you have to search our another video to know what is azure vnet we have lot of videos in our akash cloud youtube channel please search we have a lot of playlist please go and search you will be finding uh, many more playlist and many more videos about azure vnet then come back to this to understand what is this but here azure vnet is a logical isolated network in azure cloud where you can create lot of virtual machines and other resources inside the vnet where they can communicate each other but the ultimate aim is to make communication between on prem building to azure vnet you must have a dedicated least line connection from on prem to azure or you may choose vpn connection let's go with vpn connection why i'm choosing vpn because in our this case study we have vpn we can place vpn gateway which is azure side in the same vnet where all the virtual machines are you can directly connect on prem to vpn gateway but in this architecture we don't have vpn gateway in the vnet where we supposed to connect we have a separate vnet where is known as hub vnet that hub vnet contains vpn gateway and we must establish connection between hub vnet to on prem building once the connection is established the traffic which is coming to coming from hmm, on premises it will go through the vpn gateway which is in hub vnet and going to the spoke vnet it is spoke vnet why it is spoke vnet it is connected to the hub similarly we have 
another spoke vnet connected to the hub so whatever traffic coming inside the azure it has to cross hub vnet if the traffic coming from on prem and it has to cross hub vnet vpn gateway when the traffic cross over this hub vnet to go any vnet like spoke vnet or any other vnet uh, there will be a logs monitoring it will keep monitoring that logs and one more thing if anybody who are there in internet to access our azure virtual machines and they must come through the firewall so firewall is a virtual appliance in azure that allows you to so in this uh, sorry <coughs> firewall azure firewall is the service it's actually a virtual appliance in azure which allows the traffic from internet users who wants to connect to the virtual machines rather than using virtual machine ip address they can connect they can dial their remote desktop connection to firewall and the firewall will send forward translated to that to the appropriate virtual machine we can create nat tools so that firewall will be present in the same hub vnet got it now we have another choice that is called base 10 base in host so this host will allows uh, internet users to connect azure virtual machines where they want they don't want any piece of software to connect to the virtual machines for example if anybody who wants to take linux session they you they have to use ssh session or the putty or git or any other third party tool if they want to take remote desktop they must go with a, a microsoft remote desktop software or they can use any other software to connect remote desktop rather than using microsoft software or any other third party software for connecting remote desktops they can use browser from the internet itself through the base host uh, to connect to the virtual machines is a it is a one of the way of secure connecting which is we can place base host in a separate vnet we can place firewall in a separate vnet or we can place vpn in a separate vnet but what is the best practice which is referred by azure is if we are having all this in a company environment better you create one vnet which is known as hub vnet and uh, the on premises will become spoke the one vnet is become spoke other vnets connected as a spoke <coughs> if any traffic which is coming from internet it will cross firewall and go to the vm any user who wants to access virtual machine over the browser it will come the traffic through the base host and go anyone who come from on premises through the vpn gateway and go in fact anybody who wants to connect from one vnet to another vnet they should come through this vnet firewall and go back so they don't they don't uh, create any vp vpn or sorry uh, vnet peering connection between these two vnets because they want a centralized uh, management why is it centralized management where you can put all the logs into one place by using azure monitor so azure monitor which azure monitor workspace which allows to store all the logs what's happening over the networks whoever access whoever send query whoever receive query everything will be monitored by azure logs where you can have a best security system but actually it's a costly only if the company looking for cost optimization then uh, this won't be a best but it is security wise if the company gives high priority to build a security model in their azure cloud and uh, i suggest this will be the best architecture for the um, azure i hope you understood this architecture and the information which i have explained in the architecture 
uh, we'll stop here and uh, we'll be connecting in the next uh, session with a new architecture and um, understand that new architecture with this thank you